an Islamist politician convicted of war crimes during Bangladesh's 1971 War of Independence from Pakistan has been hanged at a prison in Dhaka. Mohammad Kamaruz, a man of the Jamaati Islami Party, was found guilty of genocide by a domestic war crimes tribunal in May 2013. Kamaruz, a man, 62, was convicted of crimes including the killing of at least 120 unarmed farmers. He had refused to seek clemency from Bangladesh's president. Kamaruz Aman was the third most senior figure in Jamaat Islami, an Islamist opposition party. He is the second war crime suspect in Bangladesh to be executed. In December 2013, Abdul Kader Mullah, Assistant Secretary General of Jamaat Islami since 2010 and a former editor of an Islamist newspaper, was hanged after being found guilty on five of six counts of crimes against humanity and war crimes. Of the others who have been convicted, former Jamaat Islami leader Ghulam Azam died in custody in 2014. Former Bangladesh Nationalist Party MP and Jamaat Islami leader Modi Ur Rahman Nizami is awaiting the death sentence after being convicted in October 2014. Former Jamaat Islami MP Dilwar Hossein Saeedi has been sentenced to life in jail. Jamaat Islami Secretary General Ali Asan Mohammad Mujahid was condemned to death in July 2013. Former Bangladesh Nationalist Party Minister, Salahuddin Quadar Chowdhury was sentenced to death in October 2013. Twenty-one members of the condemned man's family, including his wife and son, visited him in prison on Saturday afternoon. There was tight security outside the jail ahead of the condemned man's execution, with large demonstrations and counter-demonstrations expected in support of and against the hanging. Kamaruzaman was the Assistant Secretary General of the Islamist Jamaat Islami Party. He was found guilty in May 2013 of masterminding what the prosecution described as one of the bloodiest single episodes in the Independence War. The War Crimes Tribunal heard that he played a prominent role alongside Pakistani troops in the slaughter of at least 120 unarmed farmers in the remote northern village of Sahakpur which subsequently became known as the Village of Widows. Three women widowed as a result of the killings testified against Kamaruzaman during his trial. They described how he led Pakistani troops to the village and helped the soldiers line up and execute the farmers. Kamaruzaman was found guilty on five out of seven charges of crimes against humanity, including the murder and torture of unarmed civilians. His lawyers insisted that he had not received a fair trial.